forever. We will sing the goodness of the Lord. No matter where we are on our short journey through life, no matter what the challenges may or may not be at this time in life, we know, we know the reality that God's goodness, God's care, God's infinite love is always with us. And in the difficult moments of life, what the angel said to Mary, God whispers to each one of us, do not be afraid. And that has been his constant message from the beginning of creation to this very moment. Do not be afraid. I am always with you. And nothing is impossible with God. And how well you and I know that from our life experience. I have two short stories to share with you. Famous last words. <laughs> but I'll really work at it because we'll be here tomorrow or Monday. And that's a gift, and that's a blessing. We will receive Jesus in the Eucharist in a few minutes. And we will receive the same Jesus either tomorrow or Monday, celebrating his birth. The first story. History repeats itself. Father Joseph Healy as a married old missionary in Africa for years. And he wrote a book entitled Once Upon a Time in Africa. And he told the story of a young couple expecting their first child. And late on December 24th, the young mother sensed that something was wrong. She thought the baby was about to be born. And yet she and her husband were alone because many of the townspeople were busy preparing for an election or they had gone elsewhere for Christmas. And so the young couple went to the nearest maternity hospital, but it was closed because the doctors and the nurses were on strike. On their way home, the young couple met a homeless family who were living on the streets. The homeless family saw that she was about to give birth, and they immediately made a place for the expectant mother to lie down. And with the help of that homeless family, she delivered her first child, a healthy baby boy that she and her husband named Samuel. And those three children gave that baby simple gifts, their own toys that were glued together in a ripped ball. And later the couple made their way home, grateful for the help that they received from strangers, from that homeless family. And in the book, Father Healy asks, could Mary and Joseph and the infant Jesus be better cared for than that young couple. History repeats itself. And as we celebrate Christmas, we keep in mind those that we share Christmas with are the presence of Jesus among us. And the love of God is once again in our midst. We welcome our guests as we would welcome the Holy Family we welcome them with gratitude, with peace, with love, with joy, with simple gifts that remind us Jesus, Emmanuel, our God, is always with us, and he's alive in each one of us. He's with us in the Eucharist, and that's why we're here, and that's why we know 
that history repeats itself, and that God's presence and God's love is everlasting. My second story is about a head of a post office, the postmaster. And he said, when letters are not able to be delivered, he always opens them up and see if there's something that could be done. And he said at Christmas time, he got a letter addressed to God. Somebody is smiling because you already heard the story last week. But he opened a letter that was addressed to God. And then the letter, it said, Dear God, this is Edna. And I know that you know me. And I lost $100. And God, with that $100, I was going to feed Mary and Elizabeth. Two of your friends, two of your friends who are very poor and they have no family, and we were going to celebrate Christmas together. So I hope that you can do something and replace that hundred dollars. So the postmaster read that letter to the people that were working with him, and he said, okay, let's dig deep and get that money back to that woman. And the postmaster wrote a letter and he said, Dear Edna, this is God. Thank you for trusting in me. And I'm sending you this money so that you and Mary and Elizabeth can have a wonderful Christmas. I love you forever. Sign God. And Edna and Mary and Elizabeth had a wonderful Christmas. And then after Christmas, she wrote a letter to God. And she said, Dear God, this is Edna. I want to thank you for the $96. But she said, God, $4 were missing. And I know that you can add. But maybe she said someone in the post office stole the $4. (laughs) Joy and laughter are God's gift to us, not only now, but all year round. How blessed we are by our God who cares for us and who loves us with an everlasting love. Now tell me, were those two stories short enough? <laughs>